What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Ropes. So I want to talk about this Black Panther movie a little bit more, and I want to talk about diversity in comics because there are a group of people out there, and you can look this up on YouTube. If you just type in diversity in comics, you will see a whole bunch of crybabies crying about how much they hate diversity, how stupid it is. And don't get me wrong, some of them make good points, and I'll get back to what those good points are later. But... They hate diversity so much, but then when it comes to this Black Panther movie, all of a sudden we are the world. Oh, you shouldn't be looking at him as a black superhero. He's just a superhero. So all of a sudden, you know, diversity is okay with you now. Like you guys have to make up your mind. Do you hate diversity or not? Does race matter or, or does it not matter? Pick a position and stick with it. I mean, that, that's all I want to see people do when it comes to shit like this, okay? Either you hate diversity or you don't. Either you see color or you don't, okay? You can't switch it around depending on the situation, all right? There's only one way you could do that, and I'll explain. Now, let's say if you take a superhero like Batman, an established superhero, Bruce Wayne, all right, and you make him a black man, that's going to irritate even me, okay? Because, well, unless, unless you make that black man a completely different character who's taking on the mantle as black, as uh, Batman. I was going to say black man. As Batman, okay? If he's a completely different guy with his own identity and his own name, and he becomes Batman because something happened to Batman is years later or something like that, that makes sense. All right, but if you're going to call him Bruce Wayne, then that's going to irritate me. I, now, shit like that is stupid. All right. But what I don't get is when people are upset over, like, let's go with Spider Man. Okay. Peter Parker dies, and this kid named Miles Morales, he's a biracial kid. He's half black and half Hispanic. I want to say Mexican, but I'm not quite sure. And, um,. People hate this, man. Why does he have to be biracial? All oh, this fucking diversity just sucks. You see people crying everywhere about this shit. Okay, he's not Peter Parker. They did not take Peter Parker and make him a biracial kid. That's not what happened here. Okay, this is a kid who actually looked up to Peter Parker. Peter Parker dies. He takes over as Spider-Man. Shit like that doesn't bother me. That's not a big deal to me. But that's what a lot of these people cry about. Acting like this is the first time that um, a different person has taken on the identity of a hero. I mean, how many Robins have we had? There's been four different Robins that I can think of. Okay, one of them was a girl. I can't remember what her name was. The least popular one. All right. But you had oh, what, Jason Todd, um, Dick Grayson, and uh, who's the other guy? Oh, um, um, Damian Wayne. Okay. These three guys have played Robin, which was the same superhero. That, that was the mantle of the superhero that these three people had at one point. Okay, One of them goes on to be Nightwing. One of them becomes uh, the Red Hood. And the other one, the last one, is uh, Bruce Wayne's son, Damien. All right? So uh, this has happened before. This is not like the first time somebody else has taken over as a superhero. Or a sidekick or whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, Captain America has been replaced before with different... Bucky, okay? Bucky, the Winter Soldier, at one point took over as Captain America. All right? I mean, Falcon at one point took over as a version of Captain America. No. Was it Captain... Yeah. Yeah, he did. All right. There's been different. Um, there's been people who have taken on the mantle of um, Iron Man. You know, so th this has all happened before. But I notice whenever it's not a white person who takes over, this is when the crybabies come out about this diversity shit and how it's just killing everything. All right. So why all of a sudden now with this Black Panther movie, you know, he should just be ignored. His race should be ignored, and he should just be looked at as a human being. Who is a superhero. That's it. 
you know, and I don't understand people who say, because I think some people try to come off like they're in the right place when they say we should just look at, at people as people and ignore race. I don't agree with that, man. What is wrong with looking at somebody and saying their culture is different? That is a different type of person. See, that takes the pressure off you. When you say we should just look at people as people and we should ignore black, white, um, Spanish, Asian, and all these different things, um, you want the pressure taken off you to accept something different. Okay? That's what it is. No, you need to learn to accept the difference in people. That's what it is. That's what the problem is. Because we all are different. We have different cultures. We come from different places. People speak different languages. Okay? Different upbringings. People are different. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. You just guys just have to accept that shit. That's where the issue lies. All right? So I don't understand like people who just cry over this diversity thing, you know, and it just all goes away for this Black Panther movie. And then there's people bringing up Blade. Oh, well, you had Blade. What's the big deal? It's not the first black superhero. You had Blade. You had Meteor, man. And no, I'm not joking. Somebody really did. Not just one person. A lot of people have brought up Meteor, man. Okay, that movie went straight to fucking VHS after two weeks in the movie theater. The shit flopped, okay? I saw the movie once as a kid and didn't even watch it again. Okay? Now, if that was if that was a real superhero movie and I saw that shit when I was a kid, I would want to have saw that shit again. You know what I mean? But I, I didn't even care to watch it again. Okay? You, they're bringing up Hancock. Really? You're counting that movie? That movie was terrible, man. Now, for the people who are bringing Blade up, I can understand Blade. Blade happened um, over 20 years ago is what you have to keep in mind, okay? The first Blade movie was 20 years ago. If somebody is young, they probably never saw that movie. And if they did, they probably don't remember it or even care about it. I enjoyed the first two movies. I can go back and watch those movies at any point and enjoy them. They were very, very good. Very good performance by Wesley Snipes. A cool... A cool superhero, if that's what you really want to call him. I'm not really sure if he's a superhero. I mean, he fought vampires. He was a daywalker. But I don't know if he's the same. I don't know if he falls into the same category as like a Black Panther or Iron Man or Captain America. Because he just, he solely fought vampires. Okay. You know, it's just, it's different. You know what I mean? It's sort of like how uh, Doctor Strange, how people didn't understand how he was going to fit into the MCU because... His world is just completely different. You know, he's dealing with magic and shit like that. Um, like, if you tried to throw Blade into the MCU and and um, team him up with, like, the Avengers or something like that, or have him make an appearance or a cameo, what would he be doing, man? There's, I mean, there's no vampires to fight for him, you know what I mean? So, I don't know if you can really count him, but we'll just count him. He is a Marvel character, okay? But he wasn't part of the MCU, he was a Marvel character that had a movie, came out over 20 years ago, and that was at a time where comic book movies weren't really a big deal outside of fucking Batman. Batman has always been the cash cow, all right? They tried to bring Superman back a couple times and failed time and time again. The new guy, uh, Henry Cavill, he's okay, but they just haven't gotten his character right. You know, that's the only problem with that, but some people like him. I just think he's mediocre, all right? But they've done Batman repeatedly just over and over and over again. They just won't let the guy go, all right? And understandably so. But um, as far as having, you know, a black main superhero on the big screen, that's not a sidekick. Black Panther is the first one, all right? Black people are excited about it. Stop trying to shit people up. Let people be excited, man. If people want to get excited over this movie, let them be excited about it. We didn't come raining on your parade when when Thor came around or Captain America came around. Iron Man for the third time. Nobody, you didn't see the black community crying about that. We actually went out and we supported those movies and bought our tickets right along with everybody else. But now you want to shit people up because they want to be excited for a good damn reason, man. It's about time that a black superhero 
got on the big screen as a main character. That's not a sidekick. That's a big deal, and I think that it's going to be a success in the box office. I really do. And I encourage everybody to go out and watch it, and hopefully it lives up to the hype. But one last thing I want to touch on again, you know, make up your mind about diversity. It, it, do you hate it? If you hate it, say you hate it and, and just stick with it all the way through. And just say that, hey, you don't you don't um, care about the Black Panther movie because, hey, you know, he's a diverse character. He's not white. He's a non-white male. So I, I don't give a shit and I don't want anybody else to give a shit. Just say that, man. Don't try to now flip and say, oh, just look at him as just a superhero. But then, you know, you hate Miles Morales because he's a biracial kid who took over as, as Spider-Man. And why does he have to be biracial? You know, you, you can't be flipping around like that. Okay, that, that's all I ask. Just make up your damn mind. I'm out. <laughs>